Rick Snyder, I uh, talked with you before the ball game about the importance of this thing, and uh, I wondered how you felt about what the Boilermakers' chore this afternoon is. What do they have to do, let's say, in addition to winning the ball game? Well, John, I think one of the biggest things they're going to do as far as their mechanical game is concerned is play the real good defensive game, which they have been doing the last few weeks, because if you've been following the statistics, you'll find that Iowa has been hitting extremely high in all their games, not only at Iowa, but on the road they've been hitting almost phenomenal ball in this league anyway. And this is what the what Purdue is going to have to do is uh, just really shut them off, because if Iowa can be hitting 50, 55, 60 percent, they're going to be tough to stay up with. Rick, looking at the Big Ten statistics, uh, I think gives you a pretty good indication of why Iowa is good. Purdue has the number one man in the conference in scoring, Rick Mount. They also have the number 20 man, Larry Weatherford. In between, there are four Hawkeyes. John Johnson's number two. Fred Brown is number 10. Chad Calabria is number 12. Glenn Vitnovic is number 15. So there are four Hawks in there in the top 20, and that shows remarkable balance. That indicates that the, the Boilermakers can't really relax on anybody, doesn't it? That's right, Don. While many of the teams playing Purdue, for example, will double up on mound, uh, we've seen this happen quite a bit. With Iowa, you have to go with a straight man-to-man -man and just hope that each defensive man can shut off the guy he's guarding from Iowa because, as you say, they have four in the top 20. So it's going to take a yeoman's job on everybody's part out there today. Iowa is the best free throw shooting team in the Big Ten. They are the second best field goal shooting team. Their free throw percentage is 78-6. They have shot, by the way, more free throws than anybody else in the league, and that's 11 more than Purdue, a team that shot the third most free throws in the conference. Purdue, correction, Purdue has shot the most, has made the third most. Purdue's free throw average is 72%, 6.6 under the Iowa shooting percentage for the free throw line. From the floor, the Hawkeyes are second to Ohio State. Ohio State's average 55.2, Iowa 54.6, Purdue well under that 46.3. So the Boilermakers are going to have to be good. They're going to have to have a lot of help from their home crowd. You think that'll uh, be present, don't you, Rick? I think this will make a big difference, John. At home, the Boilermakers have been invincible for something like 30 straight games. Now, we're going to get the lineup for the Hawkeyes right now. Purdue's won 19 straight conference games here in the arena. They've won 23 consecutive Big Ten games at home. John Johnson out for the Iowa Hawkeyes, 6'7", 190 at forward, a senior from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The other forward is Glenn Vitnovic from McKeesport, Pennsylvania, 6'5", 190, another senior. Center is Dick Jensen, 6'8", 215 a senior from Madrid, Iowa. Here's Fred Brown, 6'3", 185, a junior from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The other guard is Chad Calabria, 6'1", 175, a senior from Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. So the Hawkeyes are loaded with seniors. This has to be their year. Here is the announcement that the Boilermaker starters will be introduced. Listen to that crowd. crowd is so loud that they can't announce the starting five for the Boilermakers. And the crowd is all on their feet. All around this huge arena, 14,123 capacity. I expect there are 14,000 on their feet. Here's Tyrone Bedford. 6'5", 210, a 21-year-old senior from Louisville. Bobby Ford. 6'7", 235, a 19-year-old sophomore. George Faber, 6'5", 215, a 20-year-old junior. Larry Weatherford. 6'3", 170, and Rick Mount, 6'4", 180. Weatherford's a junior, Mount's a senior. The Boilermakers go back to the sideline, pull up their warm-up jackets, and now they're back out on the court, ready to meet these Iowa Hawkeyes. The Boilermakers look to be fired up. The officials are Art White, Bob Broadbeck, and Tom Jenk. White will toss the ball up. Ford and Jensen tipped by Ford in the backcourt to Weatherford. Weatherford over the 10-second line for Purdue. He's in the backcourt. Goes on this side to Bedford. Bedford working against the Iowa man-to-man -man defense. Goes over to Mount. Mount out back. Comes over to the top of the key on the left side. Gets in along the baseline. Shoots from the left side in. Out. No good. Tipped up by Faber. Out the far side. Grabbed by the rocket in the corner. He shoots along the baseline. Hits. 
and hits his second shot along the baseline on the left side. Makes it 2 nothing Purdue. Brown up for the Hawkeyes over the 10 second line. Heads down that far side beside the key. Stops, has that ball knocked away by Faber. Pick up out back by Johnson. John Johnson moves in the midcourt. Throws on this side to Vitnovic. Vitnovic out back to Fred Brown. Brown outside the center circle. Throws in the high post to Jensen. Jensen turns. Gives off to Calabria over to the far side. Has that ball knocked away. Picks it up. Back of the keyhole. Throws out to Jensen on this side to Freddie Brown. He shoots. It's up. It's no good. Too long. Faber can't get the rebound. Vitnovic does out the far corner to Johnson. Johnson goes out the side, turns around, Faber's on him tight. Here's Johnson with the ball, gives it out back to Brown. Brown moves down into the backcourt, and the crowd gets real, real loud. Here's Brown driving into the corner, working, drives into the baseline, goes under, lays it up. No good. Whistle on the play. Foul into the basket on Fred Brown. Offensive foul on Fred Brown, his first. Ball will be passed in by the Boilermakers. Freddie Brown drove into a Boilermaker on the baseline. Foul him, picking up the first Hawkeye foul. It will be a foul at his shot. I think Weatherford goes to the line for the Boilers. Larry Weatherford goes to the line. Brown must have relinquished possession of the ball because this is going to be a shot foul. Not a typical offensive foul. There's Weatherford shot up. Off the back rim, no good. Tipped out, grabbed in the middle by Vitnovic. Vitnovic up this side over the 10 second line into the backcourt, bounce over to Calabria, top of the key, drives in, has the ball knocked away by Faber. Whistle and a foul on Faber of Purdue. Foul on Faber is the team's first. 18.45 left to go in the first half. There's a shot by Calabria, in and out, no good, rebounded by Ford, knocked away, picked up loose by Ford. What a very, very fast by Bob, into the hands of Fred Brown, as far as those a wild pass. Batted by Ford, grabbed up back by Weatherford, in the far corner to mount. He moves aside the key, shoots, huh, <laughs> Four, nothing, Purdue in the lead here over the Hawkeyes. Long one down this side to Vitnovic, on the fast break, long pass. Guarded by Faber, Vitnovic looks along the side, now moves out back, gives over to Freddie Brown. Brown down this corner to Calabria, guarded by Weatherford. Calabria moves into the foul line, stops there, goes to the far side to Vitnovic, out back to Brown. Brown out back, top of the key to Johnson. Johnson, a jumper from there, it's up, it's good. John Johnson hits the Iowa's first basket, four to two. Pass inbounds to Tyrone Bedford by Weatherford. Bedford starts it up for the Boilermakers, guarded by Vitnovic. Bedford over the 10 second line now, spins around twice. Goes down the far side to Bobby Ford, Ford in the side, fakes, moves into the top of the key, spins around, goes under, scoop layup, up, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Dick Jensen on a good defensive move. How he did that without body contact, I don't know, but it was a fine defensive move by Dick Jensen of Iowa. Weatherford looks, throws in the corner to the rocket. He shoots from this corner. It's up. Hits good. Rick Mount has three baskets. It's 6 to 6 to 2 for doing the lead over Iowa. Fred Brown up for the Hawkeyes over the 10-second line. Guarded by the rocket out back. Heads for the far side. Gets into the corner. Drives into the baseline corner. Spin, turn, shoots. No good. Foul on rocket. He reached around and fouled him from behind. Mount reached around and fouled Brown from behind. Two fouls on Purdue now, one on Faber, one on Mount. Here's Brown up with one shot for the Hawkeyes. He's shooting 85% of the free throw line. He hits this one. Six to three, Purdue in the lead. The foul pass inbounds against the Iowa press. Goes to Weatherford, guarded by Calabria. Weatherford over the then second line. Spins around out back, goes between his legs with that basketball. Comes into the top of the key. Goes up the alley, lays it up and in and out. Whistle on the play and a foul on Weatherford as he drove. Weatherford drove in the middle, chucked it up, and crashed into a Hawkeye. So it's the third foul on Purdue. And it's going to be another foul. It will be shot, not an offensive foul, because Weatherford had shot the ball before he cracked into Hawkeye Glenn Vidnovic. 17-23 left to go in the first half. It's 6-3 Purdue. Vidnovic ready at the line. 85% free throw shooter misses his shot. John Johnson is on the line before the ball is off the rim. No, somebody else was. Not John Johnson. The Boilermaker was. So Vitnovic gets another shot. He missed that first one, but he gets another one, and the first one doesn't count. Here's Vitnovic ready. He shoots. It's good this time. 6-4 for doing the lead. Ford into Bedford. Bedford guarded by Vitnovic. Brings it over the far side. Now he's over the 10-second line. Down that sideline. Goes top of the key to Faber. Faber holds it. Throws back out to Bedford. 
Bedford in the backcourt goes over to the far side, spins around, throws off the side to Weatherford, under the baseline to Bobby Ford. He goes up, the ball's knocked away, and a whistle, and a foul on Freddie Brown, his second. Second foul on Fred Brown, the Hawkeyes' east guard. He's a junior college transfer, and he's a dandy. George King walks out to the center line at the far edge of the floor to talk to Larry Weatherford and Rick Mount. Here's Ford with one shot. It's up. It's no good. Off to the left. Tipped up by Faber. Grabbed by Bedford. Out back to Mount. Mount shoots. It's no good. Off to the left side. Rebound under the basket. Knocked out of bounds by uh, Hawkeye. It'll be passed in by Weatherford under the basket in this corner to Faber. Faber deep in the corner. Looks. Comes out dribbling a little ways. Gives him out. Mount shoots in the corner. It's up. It's no good. Too long. Batted up by Bobby Ford. Under the basket. Pushing call on Ty Bedford. Ty Bedford pushed off under the basket. The fourth Boilermaker foul. And the Purdue's are uh, committing too many fouls too early in the ball game. They can get in trouble. It's 16.51 left to go in the first half. 6-4 Purdue. Iowa has two free throws so far. One fielder, Johnson, hit it. The Boilermakers have missed their two free throws. Iowa's two out of three so far. John Johnson up. The first time he's gotten a chance to shoot, he'll get one. It's up. It's good. 6-5. Purdue just by one. Bobby Ford into Ty Bedford. Bedford up the far side. Over the 10-second line. Down that sideline. Bednovic almost stole the ball. Bedford gets it. Throws in the corner to Mount. Mount fake. Shoots in the far side on the left. It's good. Mount just got his fourth basket to make it eight to five. Purdue. Up comes Fred Brown for Iowa. Over to this side. Drives in. Goes under. Lays it up. No good. And Fred Brown hesitated. Paddled that just over the 10-second line as he broke fast for the basket. It'll be Bedford in from the far side for the Boilermakers. Iowa pressing Purdue all the way. Here's Bedford in to Faber. Faber looks, gives off to Weatherford, and Weatherford brings it up the sideline on the far side of the court. Over the 10-second line. Comes back into the center of the floor. Goes on this side to Faber. Faber looks, gives off to Mount. Mount over to this side. Shoots from out on the angle. Hits good again. Rick Mount has five baskets now. It's 10-5. Purdue in the lead by five once more. Ball brought up by the Hawkeyes, 16-13 left to go in the first half. Fred Brown down this side, on down the sideline, comes back into the middle, shoots. It's no good off the ring, rebounded by Bobby Ford. Bobby Ford out ahead to Rick. Rick under the basket, gets too deep in. Has to go out to the corner, turn around, shoots. It's no good. Faber tries the rebound, gets it. And as he brings it down, he's knocked away. The ball is getting away from him out to Calabria. Calabria out ahead down this side, shoots from beside the key. It's no good off the ring. Ford tips it over to Weatherford. Weatherford up this side, behind his back around Calabria. Weatherford driving in, goes up under, lays off the mount. He shoots from the left side, no good. Whistle on the play and a foul again on Weatherford for cracking into Calabria or Bittnevik under the bench. He hit him under the basket that time. Weatherford picked up his second foul. On the drive, he laid off the mount on the left. Mount shot was no good. Weatherford hit Calabria, or rather Bittnevik, under the basket. Picked up his second foul. Foul number five on Purdue. And Rick Snyder, how's Bittnevik get in there so quickly? I don't know, John, but he positioned himself pretty well that time because he did pick up the foul. He can't be waiting in there, Rick. He's got to slip in and be in motion. Here's Bittnevik at the free throw line for the Hawkeyes. It's up and good. 10-6. Purdue with five fouls now. Is about to slip into the one and one after the next one. Here's Weatherford down the far side. Into the corner. Whistle on the play and somebody fouled Weatherford. Calabria did. Calabria picked up Iowa's third foul. His first. And Weatherford goes to the line. He hasn't scored yet today. His free throw's good. 11 to 6, Purdue in the lead by 5. The ball pass cross court to Vitnovic on this side. He gets a run. Bedford goes under, lays it up, and in and out. Rebounded by Bedford. Bedford for Purdue up the middle. On up ahead on this side to Bob Ford. Ford into the baseline. Drives into the alley. Shoots. No good. Tipped off and pulled in by Fred Brown. Brown way out ahead on this side to Calabria. Two on one. Over to John Johnson. His lay in's good. John Johnson got the two on one under the basket pass from Calabria. Scored against the Boilermakers 11 to 8. Up comes Weatherford for Purdue over the 10-second line. Weatherford in center court into the basket of Faber. Faber lays the Ford. Ford's layup. Good. Beautiful teamwork. Bobby Ford got his first basket from right under 13 to 8. Purdue in the lead. Here's Brown up for the Hawkeyes over the 10-second line. Heads to the far side. Gives on that sideline to John Johnson. He moves out to the top of the key. Spins around. Faber's with him. He shoots over his guard. Hits. John Johnson's third basket. He has seven points now. 
13 to 10. Purdue leading by three. Weatherford up for the Boilermakers over the 10-second line in the middle. Heads to the far side. On down that sideline. Stopped by two Hawkeyes. Feels around. Shoots from the left side. No good. Rebounded by Fred Brown. And Weatherford picks up his third foul reaching in. Weatherford's third foul. So Larry's in trouble as the Boilermakers have six fouls now. And Steve Longfellow comes in for Larry Weatherford. Stevie Longfellow in for Larry Weatherford, who goes out with just one point, but three fouls. That's a tough one for the Boilermakers. Weatherford got two that uh, were charging fouls. Then he picked up one when he reached in from behind. Here's Fred Brown for the line for Iowa. One shot. It's up. It's no good. Rebounded by Faber on the far side. Faber across the Bedford over to Longfellow on the far side. He's up over the 10-second line in the backcourt. Long holds it out there, keeps his dribble going, looks, goes on the far side to Bedford. Tyrone drives down that sideline, gets under the basket, goes up, lays it in. Good. He is fouled on the play. No, he's called for charging. Bedford calls for charging. Two on Tyrone, seven on Purdue. Out of bounds under the basket to the Hawkeyes under the Purdue basket. Pass in Jensen into Brown. Here's Brown up for the Hawks over the 10 second line on this side. Stops out back. Goes into Jensen to the high post. Back out to Calabria. Top of the key. He shoots. Hits good. Calabria's first basket makes it 13 to 12. Longfellow bringing it up for the Boilermakers. Spins away from Calabria. Comes over the 10 second line. Down this side to Faber. Faber in midcourt. Goes out to the top of the key. He turns around. Bounce under the mountain. Mount goes in from the right side. Lays it up. No good. Under the basket. Knocked away. But picked up by Vidnovic. Vidnovic up this side quickly. Scoop in the middle. Fred Brown drives in. Lays off on the far side to Calabria. Whistle on the play and under the basket. Longfellow's called for fouling Calabria. Calabria raised his elbow that time. Almost tore Longfellow's head off. The foul's on Longfellow before Calabria elbowed him. Longfellow had gotten too close behind Calabria. And this is the one and one for the Hawkeyes, I believe, with Calabria at the line, a chance to tie the ball game and to give the Hawks the lead. Here's Calabria at the line. 13 minutes, 34 seconds left to go in the first half. And Iowa is in the one and one. The foul, a free throw shot is good by Calabria. Tied the ball game at 13. Calabria ready again. It's good. And the Hawkeyes take the lead. 14-13. Longfellow for Purdue. Brings it over the 10-second line. Starts down this side. Then comes back into the center of the floor. Looks. Goes on this side to Faber. Faber gives off the mount. Mount out back. Then shoots a long one from out in this angle. Good. Rick Mount hits his sixth basket to give the Boilermakers back the lead. 15-14. Up comes Fred Brown. Out back of the key. He spins around. Mounts on him. He comes over to this side. Gets along the sideline. Still dribbling. Now throws into Jensen to the post. Jensen turns out back to Vitnovic. Now to Fred Brown in the backcourt. Fred moves. Mount plays him loosely. Fred dribbles that basketball. Goes over to the far side. Gets a pick. Shoots over it from the right. It's good. Fred Brown, a 20-foot shot on the right. His first gives Iowa the lead. 16-15. The ball brought up by Bedford for Purdue over the 10-second line. And Bedford pushed Vitnovic away for some unknown reason. Just reached out and shoved him away. Gets a foul for it. Bedford just stuck his arm out and elbowed him out of the way for his third foul. A very, very clear foul. The crowd boos and grunts, but uh, obviously Bedford shoved him away with no reason. But wasn't that close. Here's Fred Brown into the top of the key, into the foul line. Shoots, whistle on the play, and a foul call on Rick Mount. Foul on Mount is his second. Purdue fouling at a record rate in this ball game. That's their 10th foul. 12 minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the first half. Purdue already has fouled 10 times. They're cranked up so high. They're just trying a little bit too hard. Iowa 16, Purdue 15. Here's Brown with two. Shoots his first one. It's no good. Fred Brown ready again. He can give the Iowas their widest lead at 17-15 if he hits. It's up. It's no good. Rebounded by Jim Rogers, who came in for Bedford. Out ahead to Faber on this side. Faber moves down the sideline, drives that baseline, shoots. No good. Tipped up by Jimmy Rogers. No good. By Faber, no good. Under the basket, Ford tries for it. Out of bounds. The Hawkeyes knocked it out. Rogers and Longfellow in for Boilermakers. Weatherford and Bedford, who each have three fouls. In short to Faber, he drives, has the ball knocked away. Whistle. Foul on Vidnovic. His first. Iowa's fourth. 
12.30 left to go in the first half. Faber at the free throw line for Purdue. He can tie the game with his first free throw. Does he get two? Yes, he does. First one's up. Good. Faber's first point ties the game at 16. If Faber hits this next one, Purdue will be back in the lead by one. Up. Short. Taken away into the basket by Bobby Ford. She's back over his head and scores. Bob Ford shot went back over his head and scored. And he's fouled by Jensen in the basket, I believe, doesn't count. Fouls on Jensen of Iowa. The basket didn't count. Bobby shot it back over his head. No basket. Ford missed his only free throw try earlier. He has one basket. Here's Bob Ford ready. It's up. In and out. Dropped in there and popped out. And it's taken by Iowa under the basket. Jensen over the far side to John Johnson. Down the sideline. Guarded by Faber. Stops. Throws in the corner to Jensen. Jensen comes out the side. He has Bobby Ford on him. Throws into Calabria. Spins around. Goes under. No good. Blocked by Jimmy Rogers on the board. Pout has it out back. Brings it up over the 10-second line. Shoots from out back. It's a high archer. Good. Rick Mount, seven baskets. Three feet back of the foul. Took a lot of time. Purdue leads now 18 to 16. Ball brought up with the Hawkeyes. It's John Johnson on the far side. He shoots from the sideline. Goes out back to Vidnovic. He goes in through the foul alley. Shoots from the right side up. No good. Under the basket. Grabbed by Bob Ford. Out ahead to Steve Longfellow. Over the 10 second line. Down this side to Faber. Faber on the sideline. Stops. Gives the mount. Mount moves out on the angle. Shoots again. Hit. Rick Mount has eight baskets now. Purdue leads 20 to 16. Ball passed into Fred Brown to the Hawkeyes. He's bringing it up over the 10 second line. Bob Ford reached out there. Tried to take it away from him. But Brown guarded it well. Here's Brown on this side to Calabria. Calabria moves in toward the top of the key, drives all the way under, goes up, in and out, no good, fouls on Mount out back. Foul on Rick Mount is his third foul. No, it's on Steve Longfellow. Foul on Longfellow is his third. They reached out to bat the ball and must have made contact with Calabria. 20 to 16, Purdue back into a lead by four. Calabria has the one and one. He is two out of three at the charity stripe. Shoots this one up, good. 20 to 17, Iowa trailing by three. Purdue has fouled an amazing amount, 11 so far in the first nine minutes. Next one by Calabria, also good. 20 to 18, Purdue leading by two. The pass into Longfellow, he brings it up. Gets around Calabria over the 10 second line as Calabria relaxes his defense a little bit. Now to Mount, out back. Mount fakes, comes to this side, drives into the corner, shoots on the run, off short. Rebound on the far side by Vitnovic. Way, way out ahead to John Johnson. No, grab by Calabria instead. John had a clear shot at the basket if he, Calabria hadn't picked off the pass out back to Vitnovic. Coming on this side, moves into the top of the key, goes on the far side to Freddie Brown. He goes up, plays off to Vitnovic, back to Brown, shoots from the foul line, hits. Fred Brown hit a jumper from the foul line, ties it up again at 20. Ball brought up by the Boilermaker, Steve Longfellow. Down that far side to Jim Rogers. Rogers gives off to Rick Mount on the far side. Mount fakes. Now goes into the sideline. Spins around there on the side. Comes back into the middle. Shoots from the top of the key. It's short. Rebounded by Jensen in the middle. Jensen to Vidnovic up this side to Brown. Brown or Johnson, rather. Johnson into the foul line. Shoots from there. It's no good off to the left. Rebounded by Faber. Knocked away. Longfellow gets it. Faber picks it up. Turns around. Faber swarm from behind, goes out to Longfellow. Longfellow over the 10 second line, moves to the top of the key, throws a pass on the far side to Bobby Ford, gets away, picks it up. Now he moves in toward the top of the foul circle, into the line, throws through on this side to Faber. Faber moves in, shoots a jumper up, good. Faber's first basket, thanks that over Vitnovic to give Purdue a 22 to 20 lead. Vitnovic up this side to Fred Brown, moves into the middle, gets into the foul line, plays off to Johnson. Johnson shoots from the right side, good. Traveling call, no basket. Traveling call on Fred Brown as he got that pass away, so there is no basket. 9.59 left to go in the first half. 22 to 20, Purdue. Longfellow takes Faber's inbound pass, brings it over the 10-second line, moves in the middle now. Goes in the far corner to Mount. He shoots in the corner. It's up. It's good again. Rick Mount has nine baskets. And the Boilermakers lead 24 to 20. Cross court to Vitnovic up this side. Cuts into the middle. Drives into the alley. Turns around. Jump, shoots up. No good. Rebounded by Bob Ford. And he's fouled under the basket by John Johnson of Iowa. Bob Ford. Great rebounding so far today. Was fouled by John Johnson from behind as the Hawkeyes picked up their sixth foul. Let's pause very briefly for station identification. This is the Purdue Basketball Network. You're listening to WBAA, the sports voice of Purdue University, West Lafayette, Indiana. The 
Boilermakers Bobby Ford at the freezer line missed two prior to this. This one's up. It's good. 25-20, Purdue back into a five-point lead. Now the pass inbounds to Fred Brown. Brown up for the Hawkeyes, comes over the 10-second line in midcourt, heads for this side, down the corner to Calabria. He drives in, shoots along the baseline, short, rebounded by Bobby Ford, knocked away, picked up by Bobby, dribbles out ahead, going into the top of the key, drives through, lays it up, no good. Under the basket, grabbed by Johnson. Johnson comes out for the Hawkeyes. Bedford's back in the ball game for Purdue. Here's Calabria, far corner to Vidnovic, under the basket to Johnson. Johnson missed an easy layup as he bubbled the pass. He bobbled the pass. Fredford rebounds out ahead. The mountain out up the far side. Comes into the middle. Into the top of the keyhole. Drives through. Shoots under the basket. No good. Foul on the play on Vidnovic. His second. Mount took that in much, much closer than he has been. He got inside the foul line. Drove in about five feet past. Launched it. Was fouled by Vidnovic. And the timeout is called. The timeout is called by the Hawkeyes. Jerry Johnson getting ready to come in for Purdue. So let's pause for 30 seconds with the score. Purdue 25, Iowa 20. Ball has uh, bounced right, but Ford's been where it was. Rick Mount fouled by Vidnovic, hit his first free throw for 19 points. Next one's up by the Rocket. It's good. 20 points for Rick. 9.04 left to go in the first half. Purdue 27, Iowa 20. Brown over to the top of the keyhole comes back in toward the top of it after going out of it on the right top over to this side in the midcourt guarded loosely by Mount comes over to this side again Brown in the corner to Johnson Johnson guarded by Jim Rogers comes into the middle goes on the far side to Calabria back out to John Johnson he shoots from the foul line over Jerry no good rebounded by Jimmy Rogers out ahead on this side where it's grabbed by Faber Faber down the sideline comes in drives into the baseline Gives off the mount. The mount shoots from this side. It's up. It's no good. Too long. Tipped up by Jim Rogers. Grabbed again by Jim Rogers. Grabbed by Mount. He moves in. Shoots a scooper up and in. Go. Rick Mount. Driving up the alley. Lifted it up. Got his 10th basket. Way down the far side to John Johnson. Purdue 29, Iowa 20. John Johnson down that side. Moves into the baseline. George Faber with him all the way. Gives off to Ben McGilmer. McGilmer shots up and in. Good. McGilmer's first shot. He just came in the ball game. Makes it 29 22. Purdue by seven. Mount up the far side for the Boilermakers. On down that sideline, gets a pick from Jerry Johnson. Comes back in the middle, shoots from way out. Hits in and out, no good. Jerry Johnson tries the rebound, can't get it. Out of bounds to the Hawkeyes under the basket. Matt dropped that one down and in and popped it out. Or it popped out. Here's Vitnovic for the Hawks. Bringing it up over the 10 second line. The Hawks slowing down a little bit now. Vitnovic on this side to John Johnson. He moves back into the middle, dribbles behind his back. Can't fool Faber. He shoots over George and scores. Four baskets for John Johnson, 15 feet out on the left side of the foul alley. 29-24, Purdue leading by five. Stevie Longfellow down this side to Mount. Mount on the side, guarded by Fred Brown, moves in, jump shoots over his guard. It's out, no good. Fouls on Fred Brown, his third. Three on Fred Brown, the rocket will go back to the free throw line as Jerry Johnson is replaced by Bob Ford. So Faber and Ford and Jim Rogers in the front court for Purdue. Rick Mount at the free throw line. I think he'll get two. Jensen is in for Iowa, replacing Fred Brown. This means McGilmer will move into the backcourt, I believe. Ben McGilmer, who is 6'7". Didnovic may move into the backcourt. Here's Mount's free throw up. Good. 23 points for the Rocket. 7.32 left to go in the first half. The Rocket second one's up. It's good. 31-24, Purdue in the lead by seven. The ball brought up this side by Vidnovic. He's over the center line, moves into midcourt now with the basketball. Mounts on him. He heads for the far corner, now shoots from there. It's up long, no good. Batted out the backcourt, grabbed by Mount. Mount comes over the 10-second line over to this side. Turns around to the sideline, now drives in, spins around, goes into the baseline, drives under his layup, no good. John Faber gets the rebound, a whistle on the play, and a foul on the floor on Vidnovic. Foul on Vidnovic. That time, Vidnovic slid in again as the Boilermaker guard Rick Mount drove under the basket. Vidnovic slid in there. This is the third time he's done it today, but this time he's ruled interfering with the offensive team. And the Boilermakers call a timeout. Mount goes to the free throw line. It's 31 to 24. Purdue in the lead. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Again, the score, Purdue 31, Iowa 24. Well, Rick, this time they called it the other way. Vidnovic didn't quite arrive in time, I guess. I thought maybe he hadn't quite arrived in time one of those other trips. John, uh, this first half, Ted Reason's been sitting up here with us, and we have been commenting on the fact 
the, the Hawkeyes have an amazing ability to draw fouls that look very questionable, but as long as you can do this, I guess it's very good. And uh, as you say, Vindovic just didn't get there that time. Rick, how about the shooting right now? Well, John is staying about the same. The Boilermakers just under that 50% mark, 12 for 26. Iowa has attempted 20 shots and made eight. So they're shooting at just about even, although the Boilermakers have taken six more shots. And of course, they have the seven point lead right now. I should point out right now that Rick Mount is having a fantastic day. We're not keeping individual shots on the rocket, but he has 24 of Purdue's 31 points so far. He's been uncanny with his out shooting. He's also gotten in for a, a couple of attempts, but uh, inside he's been effectively stymied by Iowa, which has fouled him That's as right. often as not. Mounted the free throw line again this time. I don't know if he'll get one or two. He could have been fouled after he launched the shot. His free throws up. It's no good. Rebounded by Jim Rogers. And a foul on the rebound on Faber. Rogers got the rebound. Faber did the fouling. And on the far side, Broadbeck is talking with Coach George King on the sideline. Iowa's Coach Dick Schultz gets up, goes out to talk to Ben Mc or other, yes, uh, no, John Johnson. And Broadbeck goes over to the bench to talk to Ralph Miller. Now George King's still talking to one of the officials, this time Art White. At the free throw line, Ben McGilmer for Iowa. He'll have the one and one. Gets ready for that first try. Shoots. It's no good. Yes, it's out. Rebounded by John Johnson. He is fouled under the basket by Bob Ford. Bob Ford. Trying to block Johnson's shot, fouled him, picked up his first foul. Purdue has 8, 11, 13 fouls so far in the game. 7-11 left to go in the first half. They've slowed down their fouling pace, but they're still pretty high up for the first half. Here's John Johnson's free pitch up good. His second free throw gives him 10 points. Johnson gets ready for that next one. Gets up. It's good. 26-31, Purdue leading by five. Here comes Stevie Longfellow up for Purdue over the 10-second line. Out back, Bednovic's on him. Steve starts to this side, scoops one to Faber on the side. Faber in the baseline corner to Mount. He turns, shoots, hits good. Rick Mount just got his 11th basket to make it 33-26 to in the corner on the baseline. Here's Ben McGilm across court to Bednovic. He shoots, hits good. Bid banks one in from the left angle, his first basket. 33-28, to Purdue by five. Here's Faber up this side, down the side, throws in the baseline to Mount. He shoots on the right side, hits again. 12 baskets. He was all alone that time. Nobody on him. 35 to 28. Inbounds pass goes to John Johnson. Cross court to Vidnovic on the far side. He's down that side. Cuts into the middle now. George King stands up. Tells the Boilermakers how to set their defense. The 3-2 zone. It's McGilmer on the far side. Back out to Vidnovic on this side to Calabria. He drives around one man. Moves in. Shoots and scores. Calabria drove in around his first defensive man. Got under the basket. Laid it in good. 35-30. Purdue by five. Longfellow out back for Purdue. Pass on the far side to Mount. Mount on that sideline goes low, gets a pick, drives into the corner, whistle on the play, and a foul called on a Hawkeye. He stepped in front of Rick. It's Ben McGilmer stepping in front of Mount, picking up the foul. Mount made a move. McGilmer just moved in front of him. Mount banged into him, knocked McGilmer down. Then Mount's momentum carried him over McGilmer and caused him to fall. The Rocket has 28 points in the first half. 6.06 left in the game in the first half. 35-30. Rick has one and one, and his first one is good. Rick ready again. It's five out of six. 36-30. We're doing the lead. Rick shoots that next one. It's good again. 37-30, Purdue. Up this side comes Vitnovic for the Hawks. Down in the corner to Calabria coming out. Here's that Purdue 3-2 zone. It's McGilmer gives that back to Calabria on this side to Vitnovic to Calabria. Now to McGilmer. He drives in the side. Can't shoot, throws back out to Calabria. On the side to Vidnovic in the corner to John Johnson. John Fake starts to dribble in, checked by two men, looks. Crossing the far side to Calabria, he drives in, shoots, a pass under the basket to McGilmer. It's blocked on the board by Jimmy Rogers. And a foul is called on Rogers. Foul called on Rogers as McGilmer shot from under, close in on the right side. It's 37 to 30, Purdue in the lead. 540 left to go in the first half. McGilmer at the free throw line for the Hawkeyes. We'll have two shots. 
Gilner's an 84% free throw shooter. This up, no good. But Gilmer will try again. It's up, it's good. 37-31, Purdue leading by six. Longfellow bringing the ball up, pressed by Vitnovic. Comes over the 10-second line, spins into the midcourt now. Has it in their back of the key on this side to favor. Favor to Mount. Mount turns, jump shoots over his guard. Hits again. Rick Mount shooting over Calabria. Picked up his 13th basket. 39-31. Here's Johnson into the top of the key. Stops out there. Shoots a one-hander. It's up. It's good. Johnson caused the Boilermakers to relax when it looked like he traveled. It's 39-33. John Johnson has five baskets. Here's Longfellow coming at the top of the key. Gives the favor on this side. Favor on the side. Looks. Goes back out to Longfellow in midcourt on this side to Mount. Mount into the baseline. Scoop to Faber. Faber's layup. No good. Tip up by Rogers. Is good. Foul on McGilmer under the basket against Faber. Two on McGilmer. Three on Vitnovic and three on Fred Brown. Brown's on the bench. Vitnovic still in action. Here's Faber at the free throw line. Two shots. Faber's one out of two so far today. This one's up. Good. 40 to 33, Purdue leading by seven. Faber gets ready again. Shoots, it's good. Five points for Faber, 41 points for Purdue. Up this side, Vitnovic over the 10 second line. He switches into the center of the floor now. Attacking that 3 2 zone, it's back to Vitnovic at the point. Stolen by Mount. Mount up the far side, over the 10 second line. Gives the Longfellow in the middle. Longfellow back to Rocket. He shoots from the left side, it's up, it's no good. Tipped up by Faber, in good. Faber got the tip in, his second basket. 43-33, Purdue by 10. The ball brought up by Vitnovic for the Hawkeyes. Over the 10-second line. He's in the middle of the court now. Comes on this side. Pass to Calabria. Calabria moves into the top of the key hole. Listen to God now. To Vitnovic. Vitnovic back to Calabria. Top of the key. Over to Vitnovic. He moves in one bounce. Gets to McGilmer. He shoots from the right side and hits. McGilmer hitting from the right side. About a 20-foot shot. It's his second basket. Up comes Longfellow for the Boilermakers. Down this side. A shot from the right side by Stevie Stone. Longfellow hit a 20-foot jumper from the right side for his first basket. 45 to 35. Here's John Johnson coming to the top of the key. Gives to Vitnovic in this corner. He's checked by Ford. Whistle on the play and a foul on Bobby Ford. Bobby moved out and put his body right against Vitnovic. Referee Art White in behind the play. Call it a foul on Bob Ford. It's two on Bob. 45-35 Purdue with 4.05 left to go in the first half. Here's Vitnovic at the free throw line. Rick has six, 32 points so far in the game. 13 baskets, six free throws. Rick Mount having a banner day against the Hawks. Here's Vitnovic at the line for the Hawkeyes. One shot up, good. So Vid will get the bonus. This kid is really skinny. It says he weighs 190, but I don't think he weighs over about 170. He's 6'5". Has six points now. With that second free throw, it made it six even, 45-37. Inbound, Scooper goes to Steve Longfellow. Longfellow for the Boilers up the far side over the 10-second line. Comes into the middle. Vitnovic rides him a little as he gets to the 10-second line. Out of Faber. Faber looks. Moves in the middle himself to the foul line. Back out to Longfellow on this side to Mount. Mount shoots from way out. Hits no good. Off the ring. On the far side. Grabbed by McGilmer. Out the far side to Vitnovic. In the middle to John Johnson. Three on two. He drives in. Lays out to Vitnovic. Shoots from the right side. Hits. Vitnovic second basket on the fast break. 45-39. Purdue leading by six. Longfellow up for Purdue. Comes over the 10-second line. Comes over to this side now. Down the top of the key. Turns. Plays off the mountain. Mount at the end of the foul line. Spins around. Turns the jumper up. Short. Rebounded by Jimmy Rogers. No good. Bat in the backcourt. Grabbed by Vitnovic. Scoops it out there to Calabria. Three on two again. Here's Calabria under the basket of El McGilmer. Under the basket of Vitnovic. His shot's up. No good. Tipped up under the basket. Grabbed by Faber. Great work by George Faber. He partially blocked the shot. Then got the rebound. Out to Bobby Ford. Ford up this side. Cuts into the middle. Goes in the alley. Lays it off under the basket to James Rogers. Offensive foul on Bob Ford. Rick, there was one you could see coming. Bobby Ford driving in the middle, just kept right on going. Apparently unable to shut off. He thought he could split in there, but he couldn't. The Hawkeyes were waiting, and he fouled them. So it's the third one on Bob Ford. He is re No, he's not replaced. Mount is replaced by Weatherford. Bedford comes in the ball game to replace Jim Rogers. Rogers has been doing some great leaping under the basket for the Boilermakers. For Iowa, we're going to get a replacement. Ken Grabinski in, not quite yet. Here's Calabria with the ball for the Hawkeyes. Moving into midcourt. On the far side, Davidnovic back out to Calabria, working against that 3-2 zone. 
He holds it back at the keyhole, falls under the basket of Vetovic. He's alone. Goes out the far side of Jensen, back out to Calabria. He's outside the key at the top, gives to Vetovic on the side, back to Calabria on the side to McGilmer. Back to Calabria, jumper from the top of the key by Chad's up, no good. Under the basket, they go for it, a whistle and a foul. On Bedford, who just came back in the ball game, and Ty picked up his fourth foul just that quick. He hadn't played 15 seconds. Well, maybe, uh, would you believe 20 seconds? Bob Ford goes out of the ball game. William Franklin comes in. Mount back in the ball game. Mount, Longfellow, Weatherford, Franklin, and Faber for Purdue. Purdue leads 45-39. It's Jensen at the free throw line with one and one. He hasn't scored yet. Now he's ready. Shoots off the rim. No good. Tipped up by John Johnson. Grabbed by William Franklin. Whistle and a foul on William. Franklin reached in for the rebound and apparently fouled John Johnson. 45-39, John Johnson at the line. Ben McGilmer pats George Faber on the shoulder on the right foul lane there. As Johnson gets ready with his free pitch, it's up, it's good. Johnson has 14 points. Along the foul lane, Johnson, or McGilmer's talking with Faber. He didn't like uh, something Faber done. He, Johnson hits his second one, making it. 45-41, here's Longfellow for Purdue over the 10-second line. Spins around in the backcourt to shake off Calabria, gives to Weatherford. Weatherford on the far side, moves in, shoots from way out, back it's short. Under the basket, tipped up by Faber, no good. Tipped up by Roger Franklin, no good. Grabbed off by Calabria. Calabria out this side to McGilmer, on up ahead to Jensen. Jensen in this corner to the Hawkeyes, Grabinski. Grabinski shoots from the side on the angle, too long. Rebounded by Jensen, he gets it in the far corner. Back out to Calabria. Calabria holds it, gives to McGilmer, top of the key. His shot's up, no good. Rebounded by Johnson. He cut in ahead of him out. Shoots from the foul line under the basket of Jensen. His layup is on the rim. In, and he's fouled by William Franklin. The basket by Jensen is good. Franklin picked up his second foul. And the Boilermakers are back in the fouling business in earnest once more. Did the basket count or not? I think not. 45-41, the basket did, it did count. It's just been scored. Here's Jensen at the free throw line. His shot's up good, 45-44, as Jensen completed a three-point play. Purdue leads by one after leading by 10. Weatherford up this side, almost lost the ball. Throws that back to Longfellow. Longfellow comes over to the side, gives to Weatherford. Weatherford back over to Mount. Mount in midcourt, fakes, comes over to this side, gets a pick, drives in toward the corner, turns, can't shoot, fires on into the hands of Jensen, or Grabinski, who cut in ahead of favor. Up to Johnson, Johnson up over the 10-second line into the top of the key, shoots a pass under the basket of Montgomery, his layup's no good. A foul on the play under the basket on William Franklin. He has eight points. Here comes Weatherford up for Purdue over the 10-second line. Heads for the far side. Drives in, and the baseline goes under, lays it up. No good. Rebounded by Jensen. Out the far side to John Johnson. Johnson over the 10-second line. Moves over to this side of the keyhole, spins around, into the line, stops. Does that ball batted away by Longfellow. Longfellow apparently hurt himself on the play. He got a hand in the face after he knocked that ball away. Long got hit in the mouth. He's wiping his nose. Now it's out back to Calabria. Now to McGilmer. McGilmer out back to Calabria. Now to Grabinski. Back to Calabria. Longfellow's okay now. He stopped wiping his mouth. It's on this side to Johnson. Johnson on the side. Shoots like over his guard. No good. Deep thumbs under the basket. Grabbed by Weatherford. He's out the far side. Very fast. Out ahead to Longfellow. Knocked away by Calabria. Picked up by Franklin. He gets the ball in tight and walks with the basketball. William Franklin walked with the basketball. He couldn't find anybody to pass it to, so he took some steps up the middle. Out of bounds of the Hawkeyes. Jerry Johnson will come in for the Boilermakers now, replacing... George Faber with 49 seconds left in the half. Iowa leading by two after Purdue led 45-35. They've stuck on 45 in midcourt. Garbinski on the far side. Back to Calabria. On this side to McGilmer. Outside the key. Now to Calabria. Top of the key. Heads for this side. Comes back into the middle. Gives to McGilmer on this side. McGilmer moves out. Throws to Jensen. Top of the key. Turns. Throws on this side to McGilmer. Back to Calabria at the foul line. Inside it. Jump pass off. Right back to Calabria. Under the basket of John Johnson. His lay is good. Ball loose there. Picked up by Calabria on a knock. 49-45. Here's Longfellow down this side. Goes all the way under. Lays it up. No good. 
and under the basket a foul call on an Iowa Hawkeye Jensen. Good. 49-47, Iowa leading by two. Ten seconds left. Here's Calabria with the ball for the Hawkeyes. Heads for the far side. Spins into the middle. Jump shoots over his guard. No good off the back rim. Rebounded by Jerry Johnson. He can't get it out in time to Longfellow. Longfellow way out ahead. Throws the full length of the court. Misses the backboard. And that's the end of the first half with Purdue on the short end of a 49-47 score. The buzzer has just sounded. The Boilermakers are on the far side of the court now. Are moving there. Formed around Coach George King to start the second half. And ball brought down by the Hawkeyes. A whistle on the play and a foul called on Mount. Mount's third foul. Fred Brown back in there. He'll work on Mount. They'd like to get Rick out, of course. Here's Brown's first free throw. Good. Gives him two out of five. Mount goes to the far side to talk to George King. Here's Brown's second one. It's up. It's good. 51-49. The Hawks lead. The pass in. Bounce goes to Stevie Longfellow. Longfellow for Purdue. Brings it up the middle. Guarded by Brown. He's over the 10-second line. Throws on this side to Ford. Out along the sideline. Bounce to Weatherford in the corner. He shoots on the side. It's up. It's good. Weatherford tied the ball game again with his second basket. 51 all. Ball brought up by Brown. Brown out the back corner. Now moves into the middle. Comes over to this side, a pass to Vitnovic on the side. Vitnovic moves into the middle, into the far line, drives up the alley, goes under, lays it up and in, good. Vitnovic drove in the middle for the Boilermakers, 53-51. Way down, a long floor length pass intended for the Rocket. Knocked out of bounds by Chad Calabria. It'll be passed in from the baseline in the far corner by Steve Longfellow of Purdue. Longfellow in the corner to Mount, he fakes in the corner, fakes again, moves out back of the key, gets into the far line, shoots, a jumper, it's off the rim, no good. Rebounded by John Johnson. Out this side to Calabria. Almost broken up by Weatherford. Knocked away out of bounds to Purdue. Vitnovic touched it last. Vitnovic talked to the official a little bit. Here's Weatherford's inbound pass to Longfellow. Longfellow brings it up over the 10-second line. Purdue's got its little guy's offense on the floor. Here's Longfellow on this side to Weatherford. Weatherford shoots a long one-hander from out. It's no good off the rim. Up over the high on the top of the board. Rebounded by Johnson. Out to Johnson. Johnson up the middle for the Hawkeyes. Over to the far side. Drives down. Chuck shoots. It's good. John Johnson just got his seventh basket. And paper being thrown on the floor again as Johnson has his seventh basket. 19 points. 53-51. Iowa leading by two. Now Art White on the far side is going to ask the public address system, I believe. No Bob, Bob Broadback asking. Now Broadbeck goes over to talk to George King, and George King won't talk to him. King walking away from Broadbeck. He won't talk to him. Broadbeck walking to King, and King gets up and walks away again. Right down the front of his bench. He won't talk to Broadbeck. Now George King goes back to sit down. And papers thrown on the floor right away. This is the worst display I've seen at Purdue ever. Here's Longfellow over the 10-second line for Purdue. Gives to Ford. Ford moves in beside the key whistle. There's paper on the floor picked up by Broadbeck, and he warned them that there would be a technical call. Let's see if he hangs it on him. He's talking to the public address announcer. The Big Ten has never enforced this rule before. Now we'll see if they do, and let's hope they don't have an opportunity to do it. Whether or not back to Mount. Mount comes down this side. Guarded by Calabria, moves into the corner. Shoots over his guard. Hit. Rick just got his 14th basket to tie the ball game at 53. Ball brought up to the far side. Shot out back by Fred Brown. Good. Brown hits it. His third basket. Iowa leads 57-53. Ball brought up by the Hawkeyes. It's out back to the long fellow. Drives up the middle. Lays up into the basket of Mount. He shot good. Mount got his 15th basket right there to make it. 55-57, Iowa. Here's Fred Brown moving in the middle around his guard. Shoots out to the left. It's off the rim. No good. Rebounded by Weatherford. Tipped up under the basket. Grabbed off by Faber. Faber has the ball knocked away. Grabbed up by Weatherford. Out this side over the 10-second line. Here's Weatherford laying the mount. He goes under. Lays it up and in. Mount ties the ball game with his 16th shot at 57. 
Ball brought up by Hawkeye. Good to the gun. The far side to Brown. Brown out back now. Moves in. Look. Throws on the sideline to Jensen. Jensen back out to Calabria. He knocks down Longfellow over to Johnson. Johnson shoots and scores from just inside the top of the key. His eighth basket. 59-57. Well, if I was an Iowa fan here today, Rick, I'd be throwing paper on the floor all the time. Here's Ford shooting from out back. Off to the right. No good. Picked up by John Johnson. Cross court to Jensen up this side. Jensen on up ahead to Calabria in the corner. Calabria on this side. Drifts on out back with the basketball. 17 minutes left to go in the game. Iowa leads by two. 59-57. Here's Fred Brown over to the far side. Gets into the corner. Shoots. Good. Brown's fourth basket. 61-57. Weatherford up for Purdue. Moves into the middle. Comes over to this side. Top of the key. Drives in. Goes under. Lays it up. No good. Tipped up. Grabbed by the Hawkeyes by Johnson. Johnson up the middle for the Hawks. Stolen by Weatherford. Jensen loses out of bounds on the far side. As Weatherford gets that steal. Can't complete it. Jensen got his hand on it. Slowed it up. Out of bounds to Purdue. Weatherford into... Longfellow now. Longfellow up over the 10 second line. Heads for the far side. Comes back into the middle. Throws in this side to Weatherford. Weatherford looks. Floats one into Bobby Ford. Guarded by Jensen. Turn around. Jumper by Ford. Up good. Bob Ford second basket. 10 feet out along the baseline on the left side. Makes it 61 59 Iowa. Fred Brown on the far side of Jensen. He goes into the corner. Shoots from there. It's no good. Too long. Up over the top of the board. Grabbed by Weatherford. He bounced it off his hip. Comes out with it though. Heads for the far side. Weatherford down that sideline. Behind his back. Gives over to Longfellow. Longfellow in midcourt for the basketball. Bounce to the far side to Faber. Faber turns all the way around. Now looks. Gives the mount. Mount shoots from way out. Gets off the back rim. Logo. Rebound by Faber. He turns. Shoots. Scores. Faber. Nine feet out in front. Hit his third basket. To put the ball game back into a deadlock at 61. Ball brought up by Hawkeyes. John Johnson. And Faber reached out and shoved him. That's George Faber's fourth foul. He just reached out, got a hand on him, and pushed him off for no reason that I could see. One of those fouls that uh, you pick up and you don't know why you did it yourself. The Faber's in foul trouble, and Jim Rogers is coming in for George with 15.42 left to go in the game. Here's Johnson's free throw up. Good. Six for six. He has 22 points. Rogers in, Faber out, and that's going to handicap the Boilermakers because Faber... Is a great rebounder. Ford had eight rebounds for Purdue that first half to lead them. Ball brought up by Weatherford on this side to Ford. Ford fakes. Bedford's in for the Boilermakers and Rogers. Here's out back to Mount. Top of the key. Hunkett's clear shoot. Score. 17 baskets for the Rocket. He has 40 points. 63-63. 63-62. Purdue in the lead. Here's Fred Brown under the basket. Shoots. It's on the rim and in. Fred Brown's fifth basket gives the Hawkeyes the lead now. It's into Weatherford. Weatherford up this side around Fred Brown down the sideline. Comes into the top of the key. Shoots from there. It's up. It's short. No, it's in good. Ball up over the rim. Got the bank board. Fell in good. Purdue leads again 65-64. The ball's brought up by Johnson of Iowa. Over the 10-second line out back. Jim Rogers puts his hands on Johnson. Johnson goes into the middle. Jumps the pass into the basket to Jensen. Knocked away. Picked up by Rick Mount. Here's Mount for Purdue. Guarded by Calabria. Coming up over the 10-second line in the middle. Pass to Weatherford. Weatherford in the backcourt. Moves into the middle. Goes on this side to Bedford. Bedford looks. Gives the mount. Mount on the side. Comes back in. Shoots from way out. It's good. A 30-foot shot by Rick. 18 baskets for him. It's 67-64. Purdue leading by three. Up comes Fred Brown for the Hawkeyes. Comes over the 10-second line. Over to this side. Down the sideline to Vidnovic. He knocked away by Bedford. Picked up by Vidnovic. He moves into the alley, checked by Ford, turns around, comes this side, goes under, shoots good. Vitnovic with a nice reverse move, makes it 67-66, Purdue by one. Up the far side, Weatherford for Purdue, down that sideline, checked by Calabria in the corner to Mount. Mount turns, goes in, shoots on the right side, good. Mount has 19 baskets now for 44 points. 69-66, Purdue, inbound pass to Jensen. Jensen can't find anybody to throw to, throws to John Johnson. Up the middle, Johnson now that to Fred Brown, he drives in, goes under, lays off, knocks Mount down into the basket. Fred Brown knocks Mount down into the basket. The foul is called on Fred Brown, his fourth. That's the first foul on the Hawkeyes this half. The very first foul on the Hawkeyes this half. And it's on Fred Brown, his fourth. That will hurt the Hawkeyes because Freddie is a fine ball player. 
Rick, Mountain just stood there that time and knew that Brown would fell him, and he did. It took a lot of courage. Mount has one shot. He has six out of seven at the free throw line. This one's up good. Seven out of eight, 70 to 66, Purdue. John Johnson up for Iowa. Jim Rogers trying to stick with him. Johnson goes in, lays it up the far side, no good. Up back, Fed for three points. Breaks pass for Purdue. Drives into the top of the key, shooting the foul line off the rim, no good. Rebounded out back, chased by Longfellow, grabbed by Calabria. Up this side, Longfellow comes in, trying to get the ball and is fouling Calabria. Stevie, I think, knew he couldn't get the ball, but he had to try. He couldn't back off, could he, Rick? No, he couldn't, John. Actually, I don't think he meant to go into uh, Klaber the way he did, but he actually couldn't avoid it because they were running there together. It was one of those things. He just they got caught together. Calabria's shot is good. He is five for six at the charity line. Ball brought up by Purdue's Longfellow. 70 to 67, Purdue leading by three, gives to Mount. Mount out back, goes into the deep corner, shoots from there along the baseline, no good. Tipped up by the Boilermakers, grabbed into the basket by Bedford. Bedford out this side, it's Jerry Johnson in the backcourt to Longfellow, now to Mount, time of the key. Hook one in there to Rogers, gets away from him. Rebounded by Vidnovic, off the floor, loose. Now to Johnson, up the far side to John Johnson. John moves along that sideline into the foul circle, under the basket of Calabria. He shoots and scores and fouled by Longfellow, and the basket comes. Under the basket, Calabria was fouled by Longfellow. He got his third basket, making it 70 to 69. The basket count, and Calabria will get a shot at a three-point play. On the far side, there's some unrest in the crowd as Art White talks to the scorer's bench. And a timeout is called by Purdue. Timeout called by Purdue. Longfellow picked up his fourth foul. He may be replaced. Let's pause right now for 30 seconds. The score, Purdue 70, Iowa 69. On the sideline, Joe Sexton, Purdue's assistant coach, is talking with Art White. Coach George King comes out to talk to one of the officials. He's talking with uh, Bob Broadbeck, and he is talking very clearly and uh, making some hand motions. Backs away as he goes back to sit down. The officials have warned the crowd that if any more papers thrown on the floor, it will be a technical foul against the crowd. Since that time, I believe only one piece was thrown. Two pieces were thrown, and they both escaped the attention of the officials. Rick Snyder, what about shooting in this half? John, it's been unbelievable, is all I can say. Purdue is 11 for 18. Iowa is 8 for 12. Both teams are really putting the ball in the hoop. It's going to be a wild one. Rick Mount has 19 baskets, seven free throws, a total of 45 points. Against Iowa in his career, we'll check and see how many Rick has gotten. He got 53 at Iowa, you'll recall that one. In his first game against the Hawkeyes, he got 31. In his, in his second game against the Hawkeyes, he got 38. I don't know if you could hear the announcement in the background by Coach Joe Sexton on the public address system. He said, uh, let's not throw paper on the floor. Let's cooperate with the officials and not throw paper on the floor. Boys have been hurt by this. He said they visited other institutions. Apparently, a technical was called against the Boilermakers. Calabria shoots and hits. A T is on Purdue for paper on the floor. Calabria's first free throw is good, ties the ball game. Next one by Calabria is also good. Gives Iowa the lead, 71-70. Rick Snyder says the paper came from the Iowa section. That would be a great tactic if uh, the Hawkeye fans throw paper on the floor. The technical will be on Purdue. Here's Vidnovic up the far side for the Hawkeyes, goes into the corner deep. Right by Weatherford, drives that baseline, shoots, hits good, Vidnovic. Got his fifth basket, the Hawkeyes lead 73-70. Weatherford up for Purdue, up the far side, over the 10-second line, down in toward the corner, knocked away by Vidnovic, recovered by Weatherford. He fakes in the corner, now moves out, 
Comes on out back with the basketball. Weatherford dribbling. Looks, goes on this side to Jim Rogers. Rogers turns, gives off the mount. Mount on this side, moves into the corner, shoot. Hits good. Rick Mount has 20 baskets now. A 47 points. Way out ahead to Calabria. Goes under, lays it up. No good. And Mount hit it on the rim, and it's called goal tending against Rick Mount. Goal tending called against Rick Mount. He hit it on the rim. Calabria gets the basket. Seventy-five, seventy-two. Purdue trailing by three. Here's Weatherford with the ball in the corner. Goes into Bobby Ford beside the key. Goes in the middle. Drives under. Lays it up and in. And he's fouled. And the referee doesn't count the basket. He says no basket. Fine move by Bobby Ford. Who was the foul on? Foul was on Jensen. Bob Ford gets one shot. This is the second foul on Iowa this half. 12-09 left to go in the game. Ford free throws up on the rim out. No good. Rebounded by Bedford. No good. Again by Bedford. No good. Grabs up under the basket by John Johnson. The lid was on that time for the Boilers. Up the far side to Jensen. He's down that side. Scoop to Calabria. Calabria guarded by Mount. Goes into the corner. Gives to Vindovic. He tries to drive the baseline back to Jensen. He's at the foul line. He shoots the one-hander up. No good. Rebounded by Ben McGilmer. Lays off in the middle of Calabria's lay in. Good. Calabria came up the middle, laid it in good. It's 77-72. Iowa working its inside game very, very well now. The lead by five. Weatherford for Purdue comes over the 10-second line. He's out back, guarded by Vidnovic. Goes on to Bedford on the far side. Bedford moves back in there, turns around, gives to Jim Rogers at the foul line. He fakes, comes in, goes up under the basket. No, go! Great move by Jimmy Rogers for his first pass. It makes it 77-74. Iowa by three. And along the baseline, Jensen was moving up and down. Crowd thinks he can't do that, but he can as long as the referee doesn't hand him the ball. Here's Johnson out back to Vitnovic. Down the far side to Calabria. Calabria on the side, comes out to the top of the key. Spins around, goes into the line, gives to John Johnson. John motions one-on-one -on, -one on Rogers. Goes to the far side, jump shoots on the left side. No good. Tipped up under the basket and out of bounds under the basket by Calabria. Passed in by Bedford of Purdue. Here's Faber coming in. Faber comes in to replace Bedford. Purdue trails by three, 77-74. 11.03 left to go. Pass in Faber into Weatherford. Weatherford up for the Boilermakers. Comes over the 10-second line right in the middle of the floor now. Guarded by Vitnovic. Look. Goes over to Mount. Not back to Weatherford. Weatherford out back at the point. Points on this side. Starts for the far side. Throws to Faber on that sideline. Faber into the basket of Weatherford. Hooker from the right side by Larry is good. The return pass. Weatherford's knocked down. There is no call. 77-76. Here goes Vitnovic under his layup. No good. Rebounded by John Johnson. He shoots and scores. And it's out of bounds. Traveling called on John Johnson as Jim Rogers. Went up high to try and block the shot. Johnson got the ball in the basket. He travels going in, so the basket doesn't count. Pass in from the far side by Purdue, I believe, by Weatherford. Iowa puts the press on. There's Weatherford looking, goes to Faber. Faber had to give McGilmer the business to get away from him that time. Here's Weatherford over the 10 second line. On the far side of the mound, he goes into the corner, shoots from there. It's good. Rick Mack just has his 21st basket. And Purdue is back into a one point lead. Out ahead, stolen by Weatherford. Weatherford took that pass away. A four length pass drives down. Shoots from out back. It's up. It's good. Weatherford hits for the Boilermakers. It's now 80 to 77. Purdue up the far side to Vitnovic for Iowa. Vitnovic for the Hawkeyes. Brings it up slowly. Comes over the 10 second line. In the mid court, down the far side to Calabria on the side. He moves in the middle. Fake. Shoots over his guard. Hit. Calabria, sixth basket, 14 feet out to the left foul alley. Here's Weatherford for Purdue over the 10-second line. Moves in the middle, spins around, gets into the foul line, shoots. On the rim, in. Weatherford, sixth basket, all this half. 82 to 79, Purdue in the lead by three. Cross court to Vitnovic. Vitnovic moves up this side, angling to the far side, over the 10-second line. Down that sideline to Calabria, he moves in beside the keyhole into the foul line. Drives in, goes up, his hooker's up, no good. Rebounded by Rogers, tucks it out ahead, the mountain out on the far side. Down that sideline, shoots from out on the angle, it's good! Rick Mount, 22 baskets, Purdue, 84 points. Iowa, 79 points. Jensen up for the Hawkeyes, up the far side. Comes down that sideline, and down gets to Calabria. He turns around, moves in, scoops to Jensen, under, he shoots. No good, whistle. And a foul on Jim Rogers of Purdue. Two Purdue men signal traveling, but the foul's on Rogers. Five fouls on Purdue this half. 
They lead by five, and Coach Ralph Miller says take a timeout. So the Iowa Hawkeyes take a timeout. So they're leading by five, 84 to 79. We're going to take a timeout for 30 seconds with the score Purdue 84, Iowa 79. Rick Snyder. John, uh, one interesting statistic I think we should mention, Purdue in its last 17 shots has made 13, which is not real bad from the field. They've been moving the ball very well, utilizing the fast break, and actually they've got Iowa on the ropes right now as the Hawkeyes have managed only two of their last six shots. So they're getting the ball, getting it down. As I mentioned, 13 for 17. The Boilermakers are led by Rick Mount today. He has 49 points. I started to tell you once how many points he's gotten against Iowa. Last year, for instance, I think I jumped the game. In the first game Rick played against the Hawkeyes, he scored 31. In the second game he played against the Hawks, he scored 38. In the third game he played against the Hawks, he scored 45. In the fourth game he played against the Hawks, he scored 43. In the fifth game against the Hawks, he had 53. Today, Rick is going what, for what may be a new high for him against Iowa or against anybody. 49 points for the Rocket. Dick Jensen has one shot for the Hawkeyes. He's one out of two so far. Here's his shot. Up good. 84-80. Purdue in the lead by two, four points. Two baskets. Here's Weatherford for the Boilermakers. Out back. Comes into the top of the key. Shoots in the foul line. It's short. Rebounded by Larry. He shoots again. Good. Got his own rebound in the basket to make it 86-80. Purdue in the lead. Ben Montgomery for the Hawkeyes. Brings that ball up into the top of the key. And now they're saying... There was something wrong with the way the Hawkeyes passed the ball in. So they're going to let him do it again. Bob Broadbeck continues to mystify me. That was an odd call. Iowa got to pass it in again after they did something wrong the first time. Maybe he didn't let Broadbeck touch it. Here's Vindenick on the far side to Calabria. Calabria guarded loosely by Weatherford. Shoots one into McGilmer in tight. He faked. And he came down and passed it. Gilmer traveled with the basketball just at the edge of the foul lane trying to fake off a Boilermaker, Jim Rogers. He didn't fake him. Pass inbounds, Weatherford to Ford, back to Weatherford. Weatherford brings it up now for Purdue. Over the 10-second line, signals out back. Moves into the top of the key, bounce through there. Taken away by Vidnovic. Loses the ball out of bounds on the far side. Vidnovic couldn't get it in time. Almost went over the railing into the crowd in the sideline. That kid's all courage. He's got everything a basketball player needs except a little more weight. Out back to Mount. Mount on the far side. Drives into the corner. Gets in there deep. Shoots over a pick. Hits good. 23 baskets for the Rockets. Gives him 53 points. The ball brought up by Johnson. That's as many as he's ever scored against Iowa. Over to Vidnovic. Vidnovic on the far side. Comes back into the middle. Spins away. Shoots in the left angle. It's up. No good. Tipped up by Jensen. Rebounded by Jensen. Hits good. And he's fouled into the basket. By Bobby Ford. Four on Ford. The basket counts. It's 88, 82. That's Jensen's second basket. Fred Brown getting ready to come back in for the Hawkeyes. Jerry Johnson coming in for Purdue. Ford has four. Paper has four. Bedford has four. Longfellow has four. Purdue is in foul trouble with eight minutes and one second left to go. Rick Mount just scored his 52nd and 53rd point. Bob Ford goes out for Purdue. Jerry Johnson is in. Dick Johnson to the free throw line for the Hawkeyes. They trail by six, 88-82. Here's Jensen ready. Free throw up. No good. Rebounded by Jim Rogers. Out the far side to Weatherford. Weatherford with a 10-second line for the Boilermakers. Starts to move into the middle. Checked by Fred Brown. Now pulls down out back. Goes on the far side to Faber. Faber to Mount in the deep corner. He is guarded by Vidnovic. Fake comes out, shoots on the right side. It's in and out, no good. Rebounded by Jerry Johnson. He turns around, can't shoot. Gives the mount. Mount goes into the corner, shoots on the run. Hits good again. 24 points for Mount. 25 feet out on the right side. 90 for Purdue, 82 for Iowa. Here's Johnson with the ball for the Hawkeyes. Gives to Jensen. Jensen into the top of the keyhole on the far side to Vidnovic. He moves into the middle and he is bumped by Mount. And Mount picked up his fourth foul. Mount stuck his chest out that time, and I would class that as the, the same type of foul that 
has Pat Faber today and Bedford today a dumb one. There wasn't any reason for Rick to stick his chest out. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Purdue Basketball Network. You're listening to WBAA, the sports voice of Purdue University, West Lafayette, Indiana. Vidnovic's first free throw is good. It's 90 to 83, Purdue by seven. Calabria goes to the far side to talk to Dick Schultz on the sideline, assistant coach for Iowa. Mount goes over to talk to George King. Vidnovic's second free throw is also good. Gives him 16 points, 84 for Iowa, 94 for Purdue. Weatherford for the Boilermakers has the ball out back now. Heads for the far side, into the corner deep. Shoots along the baseline, up, in and out, no good. Tipped up by Faber, grabbed off by John Johnson of Iowa. Four on one fast break on this side to Vidnovic. He drives in, shoots, in and out, no good. Grabbed off by Jerry Johnson. He saves it along the baseline, turns around. Throws out this side to Rick Mount. Mount for Purdue comes up over the 10-second line in the middle. Cuts into the top of the key, shoots from way out back, hits. 57 points for Rick, tying Purdue's record held by Dave Shellhouse. Freddie Brown shoots from the top of the key, hits. Fred Brown hitting for the Hawkeyes. It's 92 to 86. Purdue leading by six. 6.40 left to go in the game. And Coach George King says, let's call a timeout. George King calls a timeout for Purdue. Let's pause for 30 seconds with the score. Purdue 92, Iowa 86. Well, Rick Schneider at Minnesota last week, this week, the Boilermakers traded baskets with the Gophers late in the ball game. Today, I think maybe George King is not going to trade baskets. What do you think? No, sir. We can't afford to give anything up. If you look at the fouls right now, we've got a real a real problem because we have Ford with four, Faber with four, and Mount with four. So we cannot afford to have any of those guys on the bench. So we're going to have to tighten up, play very smart, and have the other guys on the floor help out because if either if any of the three of those young men depart from the game, it's going to make it very tough. Rick Snyder, I know that uh, you're aware of it. Rick Mount has 57 points, tying a, a Boilermaker single game high held by Dave Shellhouse. His next point will break the record, give Rick Mount the record that I think his fans will be get ever since he came here and started three years ago. Right, it's really surprising that he's going this long without getting the 57 points. Rick Mount has 57 points. They've just announced on the public address system. He was 110 points behind Don Schlunt's four-year total. Now Rick has gotten 57 points, so that means he is 54 points behind. Inbound pass goes to Faber. Faber on the far side. Throws back out to Weatherford in midcourt. Weatherford on the far side to Faber. Faber turns, gives to Larry Weatherford. He looks out back to Jerry Johnson. Jerry turns around. Tries to get Rick. He can't. Calabria is on his side. Now Rick goes into the corner. Shoots along the baseline up. Good! 26 points for the Rocket. There's the record for Purdue's Rick Rocket. 94 points for Purdue. Under the basket. Jerry Johnson tries the defense. Chad Calabria. Chad gets the baseline shot in to make it 94 to 88. Purdue by six. Weatherford up for the Boilermakers. 6.07 left to go. He's over the 10 second line. Heads for the far side. Weatherford looked for Faber. Couldn't hit him. It's out back to Mount. Guarded by Calabria, he turns, lays one to Weatherford under the basket, his layup, good, Weatherford got an assist from Mount for his eighth basket, and now it's 96 to 88, Purdue leading by eight, up this side to Vidnovic, Vidnovic goes into the middle of the alley, lays off to Freddie Brown, pumps from the top of the key, off that back rim, no good, tipped up by Jim Rogers, grabbed by Vidnovic, out this side to Brown, Johnson, rather Johnson, John Johnson goes up the middle, runs into Jerry Johnson, lays a pass off, whistle on the play, and a foul on John Johnson of Iowa. John Johnson's second foul. That's only the third foul on Iowa this whole half. If you wonder about this, join the group. That's only three fouls on Iowa, Rick. In a ball game like this, that's unbelievable, but that's the way it's been. And I'll be the first to admit that Iowa's not a snatching, grabbing, clawing ball club. They haven't at all. Here's Jerry Johnson, one free throw on the rim and in. 97 to 88, Purdue in the lead by nine. Up the far side, Vidnovic for the Hawkeyes. Moves in the middle, throws back out to Fred Brown. Brown pulling it back out. 5.27 left in the game of the far side to Calabria. Back to Fred Brown. He almost lost it, gives to Vidnovic. He drives into the corner, checked by Faber and Rogers. Out back to Jensen, out of Fred Brown, now to John Johnson. Gets away from his guard, shoots. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Rick Mount, out back. Here's Rick starting for the Boilers. 
Over the 10-second line in the middle. Shoots from way out back. Gets no good off the ring. Rebounded out back by Calabria for Iowa. Four on two. One to do. Fred Brown drives under, lays it in. Boy, they ran that one right back on the Boilermakers with a fast break. 97 to 90. Purdue leading by seven. Weatherford up for the Boilermakers. Comes over the 10-second line now. Heads for this side. On down the side. Tells Jim Rogers to clear out Weatherford along the baseline. Shoots good. Nine baskets for Larry Weatherford. All this half to make it 99 to 90. Purdue by nine. Up the far side to Vidnovic. He goes into the corner. Moves in there. Shoots in the corner. No good. Iowa has taken a timeout. Iowa has taken a timeout. Let's pause right now for 30 seconds with the score. Purdue 99. Iowa 90. Well, Rick, we said we didn't think Purdue would uh, trade baskets with the Hawkeyes. They have traded baskets with the Hawkeyes since we said that. John, I think this is a credit to the Iowa Hawkeyes as much as we need this game. They've come in here with a pretty emotion-packed crowd and still managed to maintain their composure and actually trade baskets with Purdue in these very crucial minutes. I think this is a sign of a very disciplined and well-coached team. Rick, while we were talking, or while you were talking, the cheerleaders circled the floor, as is their habit here, and the crowd, as the cheerleaders went around in the group, rose up and cheered for the Boilermakers. A great psychological spur for the Boilers. It has to bother the Hawkeyes a little bit, I think. We'll see, because with 4.36 left in the game, the Boilers lead by nine, and we saw a 10-point lead disintegrate in about the same length of time at the end of the first half. We don't want to see that again. Mount has 59 points now. 26 baskets, 7 free throws. It'll be Iowa's ball inbounds on this side. Calabria getting ready to throw it in. Art White gives him the ball now. It's into Fred Brown. Fred Brown for the Hawks. Brings it over the 10-second line. Moves into the middle. Goes in the far side to Vidnovic. Vidnovic looks. Goes back out to Fred Brown on this side to Calabria. He fakes. Drives into the baseline. Shoots over his guard. No good. Too long. Rebounded by John Johnson. He shoots and scores from the left side of the basket underneath. His ninth basket, 92 for Iowa, 99 for Purdue. Here's Weatherford shooting from the right side up. Good. Larry Weatherford just got his tenth basket on the run on the right angle. About a 15-footer to make it 101 to 92. Purdue by nine. Up comes Fred Brown for the Hawkeyes. 4:05 left. He stops in midcourt. Now Stern throws on this side to Calabria. Pulls it out. Gives to Brown on the far side to Vendovic. Under the basket to Johnson. He goes up, lays it up. No good. Brave under the basket. Out of bounds to Iowa. 354 left to go. Purdue leads by nine. 101 to 92. And Bob Ford comes in for the Boilermakers in place of Jimmy Rogers. Rogers gets a good hand. He's been a jumping demon for Purdue. Here's the inbound pass. Fred Brown out back to Jensen. In the corner to Vidnovic. He moves one big long step. Gets back out to Jensen. Jensen in the backcourt to Calabria. Calabria turns, gives off to Fred Brown. Brown in the backcourt now working a little slowly over to Vidnovic in the corner to John Johnson, he shoots, blocked by Jerry Johnson. Bat out of the backcourt, grabbed by John Johnson. He moves in, throws across to five. Brad Brown. He shoots from the top of the key, short. The foul's on Weatherford, and Weatherford picked up his fourth. Weatherford hit Fred Brown as Brown launched his shot. Referee Art White signals he hit him on the wrist. About midway between the joint and the elbow. And Fred Brown will get a couple. 3.33 left to go in the game. The Hawkeyes have slowed their attack down, trying to get the easy ones under the basket. Fred Brown's first one's good. Four for him out of seven tries. 101 to 93. Purdue leads by eight. Fred Brown's next one's up. It's good. 101 to 94. Bobby Ford into Larry Weatherford. He's double teamed. Throws over to George Faber. Back over to Weatherford. Into the hands of Calabria. Bad pass by Faber. Now to Vidnovic. He shoots from the left side. Up. Good. Vidnovic hits his sixth basket to make it 101 to 96. Weatherford into Ford. Ford double team, can't find anybody open, dribbles it out himself, throws out on the far side to Faber. Faber under the basket to Mount, he shoots from the left side. It's good, no good. Grabbed off by Bob Ford, he goes up, under the basket, scores. Bobby Ford got his third basket, 103 to 96 for Doe, and Iowa's up court pass. But John Johnson gets away, goes out of bounds at the end of the center line in front of the scorer's bench. 303 left to go in the game for Doe leads by seven, 103 to 96. Here's Faber looking, throws into Weatherford, he goes into the corner, shoots on the right side, it's short, tipped up under the boards, grabbed by Bobby Ford, knocked away by Vidnovic, foul on Vidnovic, is his fourth foul. That's 
the fourth foul on Iowa this half. Bob Ford will have one shot from the from the foul in the corner. He goes to the free throw line now. One out of four today, Bobby Ford is. Shoots this one. No good. Grabbed under the basket by John Johnson. Up this side to Fred Brown. Brown up the middle quickly on the diagonal. Rise into the foul line. Shoots. Scores. Fred Brown hit from the foul line. Making it 103 to 98. Ford throws in the far side to Faber. Faber to Purdue out ahead to Weatherford. Weatherford double teamed in the backcourt. So the jumper goes out of bounds. Knocked out by John Johnson as the Iowa Hawks are putting the zone press on Purdue and doing a fine job. 2.38 left in the game. It's in the mount. Mount over to Weatherford. Weatherford out back. Moves into the middle of the floor now. Dribbles. Comes over to this side. Throws in the mount. Mount along the baseline. Jumper from the left side by Rick. No good. Under the basket. Grabbed by Fred Brown. Mount. A 12-foot shot from the left angle. Couldn't get it down. Here's Brown into the top of the key. On the far side of John Johnson. He turns, shoots a pass the baseline to Vidnovic. He throws that back to Fred Brown. His jumper from the top of the key is good. Fred Brown just got his ninth basket. There goes the lead down to three. 103 to 100. Here's Weatherford. Can't get away from Fred Brown. Dribbles behind his back. Now he's over the 10-second line in this corner of the backcourt. Two minutes left to go in the game. Out to Faber. Faber on this side. Moves. Gives the mount. Mount on the side, guarded by Calabria, starts to move around him, comes over to this side, gets in, shoots along the baseline, no good. And it's taken up under the basket by Jensen, Jensen to Johnson. Johnson up for Iowa, moves into the top of the key, drives to the far side, shoots one under the basket, Calabria's layup's no good, and he's fouled by Bob Ford, five on Bob Ford. Bob Ford fouled out for Purdue with seven points. 103 to 100. Iowa trailing by three. Mount goes to talk to the official, but uh, the official walks away. Timeout called by Purdue, which now has dissipated a nine-point lead down to the last three points. And we'll pause for 30 seconds with the score, Purdue 103, Iowa 100. Rick, this is very simple. The Boilermakers have been taking shots that I think they would not normally take, and the Hawkeyes have been playing very coolly. John, Iowa is going into this full court zone press, and there is no reason why Purdue should not run the Hawkeyes right out of the gym, with, especially with the type of ball they play, the fast break. Unfortunately, the Boilermakers are actually just taking the gas in the vernacular of the game. They're not utilizing their best shot right now, and it's getting them in trouble. Out on the floor, the cheerleaders were strung all across the center line from one side of the floor to the other. They were all doing a foot stomping act. I think that was uh, a foot stomping act reminiscent of George King's war dance uh, <laughs> several weeks ago, wasn't it, Rick? It looked a lot like it. I couldn't uh, detect any other point in the yell than that. The Hawkeyes will go to the line again. Bob Ford fouled out with his fifth foul. He's been a fine player for the Boilers. Led them in rebounding in the first half. Chad Calabria at the line for the Hawks is seven out of eight at the charity stripe. So he can cut the margin. The Boilermakers have to win this ball game to have a chance at the league title. The Hawks can blow it, still win their next two and win the league. They've been great today. Here's Calabria up. He has two shots, so it's no bonus situation. The first one's good. 103 to 101, Purdue leading by two. Calabria ready for that next one. It's up. It's good. 103 to 102. Inbounds in the corner to Weatherford. Weatherford swarmed by Calabria. Goes out to Wedford. Bedford brings it up. Can't get around John Johnson. Offensive foul on Ty Bedford. Offensive foul on Ty Bedford. They tried to get around John Johnson. And the Hawkeyes take a timeout. They trail by one. They take a timeout right now. Ty Bedford working against the zone press. Tried to get the ball up. Rick Snyder, you saw it. Tell us about it. Uh, Ty, for some reason today, is using that elbow quite offensively. <laughs> he started around. The man got in front of him. He just kind of let him have it with the elbow. I guess that would be the only way to describe it. Uh, he probably should have just stopped and held the ball there and looked for the open man. And he tried to force it. And that's what happens when you try to go too fast. Third fouls out. He didn't score at all today. Rebounded well. In the first half, he was on the bench most of the time because he picked up three fouls very quickly. Then he got his fourth one in 20 more seconds. He picked up that fifth foul in about, uh, I would say, maybe uh, another 20 seconds. 
So Bedford uh, was with us very shortly, and uh, I think in place of Tyrone, Steve Longfellow will move into the game. Jerry Johnson, I believe, will be in. I can't see him. Yep, Johnson, Faber in the front court. Weatherford, Mount, and Longfellow, the other part of the little guy's offense, as both Ford and Bedford have fouled out. Inbounds, Iowa will pass the ball in. They trail by one, 103 to 102. This shot's important for the Hawkeyes. It's in back to Fred Brown. He's over the 10-second line now in the backcourt. Comes back into the middle, guarded by Rick Mount, who has four fouls. Can't play him too tight. On this side to Vidnovic. Vidnovic moves out to the top of the key, pulls it on, goes on to the far side of it. Lays off on the far side to Calabria. Longfellow almost got the ball, but he couldn't. He has four fouls. So does Weatherford. Everybody has four for the Purdue's. Out back, Vidovic throws to Fred Brown there in a stall, waiting to get an easy shot. There's a pass on the far side to Calabria. Moves in the middle, gets in, shoots, scores. Calabria gives Iowa the lead. 104 to 103. Longfellow up for Purdue over the 10-second line. 55 seconds left to go to Mount out back. Mount in midcourt, comes over to this side, gets into the top of the key, throws to Weatherford on this side, and Weatherford comes down out back with the basketball. He moves down the side, shoots from way out. It's no good. Rebounded by Longfellow under the basket. He turns, shoots to Jerry Johnson. His layup's good. Jerry Johnson got a lay-in under the basket to give the Boilermakers the lead, 105 to 104. Ball brought up by the Hawkeyes, John Johnson. He moves in, guarded by Faber. Drives in the baseline, shoots, scores. John Johnson got his 10th basket right then, and Iowa leads 106 to 105. 22 seconds left. Here's Weatherford up for Purdue. Over the 10-second line, moves into the middle, goes to the far side, around Calabria, hooks on the right side, no good. Rebounded under the basket by a Hawkeye, by Vitnovic. Iowa leads by one. Hart White fell down when Fred Brown ran against him. Foul on Faber with 10 seconds left. The Hawkeyes lead by one. Faber knew he had to foul. He's out of the ball game with five. The Hawkeyes had the ball, and they were all set to stall it out. So Faber fouled. He leaves with nine points and a fine game, but he, too, was on the bench quite a while. The Hawkeyes are ahead by one. They have a shot, I believe, or oh, two shots on the one and one. And a timeout is called by Purdue. During this timeout, let's pause for 30 seconds. This is the Purdue Basketball Network. The athletic department has announced today the booking of the ice capades of 1970 in the basketball arena on Monday, April 22nd through Sunday, April 26th. Tickets will go on sale Monday, April 6th at the athletic ticket office in the arena. There will be seven shows. Prices are $4.50, $3.50, and $2.50. Make your checks payable to Purdue University. Incidentally, the Ice Capades is furnishing a portable ice rink to be installed, which will cover the entire arena floor. Rick Snyder, right now, I'd say it looks very, very bad. Well, Vidnovic is shooting, isn't it? Free throw. I think he was the one that was fouled. I think he's shooting somewhere around 90% from the foul line. That wasn't the man to uh, foul, but with 10 seconds left, there wasn't time to call a conference to decide who they were going to foul. Faber made a very good move. This is only a uh, chance to, uh, for Purdue to get the ball back. The Boilermakers have won 30 straight conference games up until today. Maybe they can make a 31. Here's Vidnovic at the line. Vidnovic has the one and one, and his first one's good. He's perfect with seven out of seven. The Hawks lead by two, 107 to 105. If they make this one, I'll bet they'll stay away from the Boilermakers and let them make the last basket. Here's Vidnovic with his last shot. It's up. It's good. Eight out of eight for Vidnovic. Longfellow in the middle of the mountain, out over the 10-second line, moves into the top of the key, drives in, lays it up. Good. Rick Mount right through the middle. Iowa didn't make any offers at him. 108, 107. There's the ball game. Iowa wins 108 to 107. And the Boilermakers couldn't hold their nine-point lead with four and a half minutes left to go, and that's what we worried about. The Hawkeyes played that methodical basketball, came back, shoot the Boilermakers up, and the Boilermakers their first loss in 30 games at home. They haven't lost since 1967 here at home. They did today 108 to 107 to the Hawkeyes. And we'll be back in one minute after we tell you this is the Purdue Basketball Network. Rick Mount wound up with 61 points, but the Hawkeyes wound up with the win. This is most unfortunate for the Purdue's. Of course, it's fortunate for the Rockets, and it probably will serve to verify 
Coach Ralph Miller's theory that uh, they'll let Mount go, they'll stop everybody else, and they'll win the ball game. They did let Mount go. They fairly effectively stopped everybody else. You'll see when we uh, give you the box score, except for Weatherford in the second half. But the Boilermakers with a nine-point lead found prosperity too much, simply couldn't hold it during the last four and a half minutes. They took several shots that I feel they now wish they had back. And uh, they went down to defeat against the Hawkeyes by one point, 108 to 107. 